Guys, in, in California, solar panels are taking off in a way that I don't think anyone really anticipated. Here's what's happening. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. California has exceeded 100% of energy demand with renewables over a record 30 days. This has not happened before. It's going to happen more and more in future, though. More and more people are installing solar. And it's not just, you know, mum and dads and homeowners installing solar panels. It's also big investors, big energy companies that are installing solar farms. In a clean energy record, wind, solar and hydro exceeded 100% of demand on California's grid for 30 of the past 38 days. Or not the past 38, but 30 of 38 days over the last couple of months. Stanford University professor and of civil and environmental engineering, Mark Z. Jacobson has been tracking California's renewables performance and he shared his findings on Twitter or on X. He said this, this is not an anomaly. This is the new reality. The percentages will only increase every year. California has exceeded 100% of demand on its main grid um, with renewables. So what are we going to see in the future? We're going to see negative energy prices in California. There's going to be a lot of days where, like in Texas, you can basically charge your EV almost for free at nighttime. But eventually, it will become free to charge at certain times of the day. Jacobson says that supply exceeded demand for 0.25 to 6 hours per day. And that's really interesting. It really proves what Tony Sieber has been saying here about the electricity cost becoming marginal. He said this in 2014. Uh, since then, a lot of people said, oh, I said this on the channel a few times, repeating what he said. People said, oh, you're just an optimist. I heard that so many times. You're just an optimist. Electricity is never going to be marginal cost. It's never going to be free. Well, actually, it has begun happening in a few different countries around the world. Not all the time, of course, but at certain times of the day. What we need for renewables to work is 200%. We need an excess of energy by about 100% because then that covers the times when, well, there's no sun or there's no wind. Basically, that means then that about 95% of the time we have, we will have in the Western world way more electricity than we need. So when will this happen? Well, it's happening at different times of the year. Now, clearly, as you can see in California, it's happened for 1.5 or one hour to six hours per day in 30 of 38 days. Eventually though, this is gonna happen every day. At the two week record mark in Magruder at Rewiring America made this point. What makes it even better is that California has the largest grid connected battery storage facility in the world, meaning those batteries were filling up with excess energy from the sun all afternoon today and are now deploying as we speak to offset a good chunk of the methane gas generation that California will use overnight. Now, if California doesn't continue building out battery installations, Australia will overtake it. In fact, New South Wales and Victoria will overtake it, Queensland maybe as well, because we have huge amounts of batteries being built here now. So it's likely this will happen, this overtaking will happen within the next 12 to 24 months, but the US and California will probably retake it. It'll be like a you're leading, we're leading, you're leading type thing. On the 2nd of April, the Californian Independent System Operator or ISO recommended 26 new transmission projects worth $6 billion with a big number being devoted to offshore wind. Now, is offshore wind even necessary? My personal opinion says no, it's not. But the California grid believes it is, and you know, I don't have a problem with that at all. In response, Jacobson predicted on the 4th of April that California will entirely be on renewables and battery storage 24-7 by 2035. So we've got experts saying that this will happen, renewables and batteries, 100% in California by 2035. We have a city here, um, or we have a, a state here in Australia that has basically already hit about 90%, and they will hit 100% within the next, I would say, probably two years to two and a half years. California, will they hit this in 2035? I think it'll happen sooner than that. I think it'll probably happen in 2033. And the biggest reason that I say that is because of the enormous declining cost of batteries and solar. Wind is not declining in cost all that much, but a lot more solar and batteries are being built out. And that's what's more important for the grid to be 100% renewable. Because of that cost, 
that enormous cost decline. I think it's going to happen a couple of years earlier. So in 2033, if anyone says, I don't want an EV, they're all powered by fossil fuels and coal and your grids or, well, it won't be. It'll be powered 100% by clean energy. That's a pretty cool future to look forward to. Thank you for watching.